Okay, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. I'm still here. I'm still here. RimWorld had a new DLC out, so I was, uh, been playing that. I've torn myself away from it. And we're going to play some more Voices of the Void. <laughs> Day 73, huh? I wonder if we'll see anything which we haven't already. Um... Yeah. Blah. Like, what recording is this? Like, 19 or something like that? Probably do up to 20 and then I might wait until another update comes out for it. Mm, though, I understand a lot of the update stuff has been for the story mode, so I haven't been seeing it. I am, I, I am aware of that. I... I, I, I kind of realize that when I decide to play infinite mode, right? Um, uh, I don't know. I like playing infinite mode just to have things happen, as opposed to having specific days when certain things happen. Um, hmm. Hello? There's something out there. Oh, is it a tree? 233, 236. 239 242 it's actually going at like is that a tree I guess it is oh it's going heading back now oh like hmm Do I have a camera out there? I was staring at it and I didn't. It's been a few days. Oh, it's gone. Okay, never mind. Three. Uh. Okay. Good, good. Uh, are any of the cameras disabled? I've been watching some other people play this, and I did see an interesting case where uh, a camera turned off in the uh, northwest corner of the map, over near where the cave is, which uh, I haven't had one turn off over there before. As far as I've been able to tell, maybe the anti-breather can't turn them off. Maybe I put the cameras in locations where it couldn't reach them to turn them off. One of them is on a post, though, so I should be able to reach that one. Uh, uh, okay, we were st starting the pile again. And it seems like all of my cameras are working. Let me go through, see if I can remember them. Safe Cam, Shape Cam, Emridge, CD, Quebec, Power, Valley, River, Papa Gen, Shit Papa, Victor, Tower West, Romeo. I can't remember all of those specifically. So I'm just looking for specific ones, like the Forbidden Forest one's still there. Misspelled. Southwest Papa, Northwest Papa, Whiskey, Henge, yep, Yankee, East, West, Oscar. Base entrance, Kilo, South Fence, Cam, River Ridge, Cam. Yeah, uh, I think all of them are there. There's the Out of Bounds, Cam. <laughs> oh, right. I was just going through all of the levels. Hey, Kerfus, are any of the servers need fixing? No. Okay. How much pizza have I got? I am dangerously low on pizza. Mmm, 
do I want anything else? Might need another notepad. I think I've got some, but I'll, I'll get another one. How many cameras do I have? Uh, oh, I picked up a sign. This is not a sign which sticks to the wall. Okay, never mind. You could just say out of order over there. Oh, need a nail. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, no, I've got a camera. I've got four. Okay. Uh, what about something else? Uh, haven't added any music, any new music or anything. Hmm. Wall shelf. No, oh, pardon me. Uh, there's still rubbish around the place, but I, I don't feel the... What? Oh. No. Oh. Okay. When you get an email, it clears out your... Uh, your uh, shopping cart. Mm. Oh, wait. I'm trying to figure out, did, did it remove my order or did it, um, like, attach the things in the part into this delivery, which it does every day. Okay, no, it didn't. So it cleared my part. So it could send the uh, delivery uh, it does every day. No, I want that. Okay. Right. EMP reader. Useless because of the skull. Ooh, spooky. Anything going on? No. Okay. Oh, you're done. What's this one? Sounds like cicadas. Three o twenty four. There we go. Here comes my delivery. Actually, it takes a little while for it to, uh... Head back and come back. 
Come on. You coming with me? Come on. I said. Come on. Okay, now you may break. Thank you. There. You go like that, and you go on top. Because you're the one with one slice. Speaking of which, hmm. We called pizza, which was refrigerated, damn it. Again. Go away. You cannot beat me. Mm, did I put a camera over here? No. Would one on here work? I can't see. Whoa. Okay, good. I could have had my light on. Ha! Huh. Okay, crab. Dick. Activate. So you'll be able to see a little way over here. You'll be able to see this area here, which is where, like, that tree was moving around at all. Way. Uh oh. I pressed the wrong button. Am I dead? No, I'm not. I'm fine. Means my hook's up there. I left clicked again instead of right clicking, so now the hook's stuck up there because. Yeah. Well, it's fine. Whatever. I'll just order another one. I've got gobs of cash. <laughs> hey, Kerfus. Could have caught me. Thanks. I am slightly concussed at the moment. 
I have a minor case of very severe brain damage. Oh. Oh god. You have a mod which gives <laughs> Kerfus Wheatley's voice. Down the entire pack. <clears throat> Maybe I rubbed the pills into the dint I've got in my skull <laughs> from landing on the concrete uh, pillar which is holding up the pole. You see, it's all a clever ploy to uh, scare off any uh, zombies or ghosts which are thinking of spooking me. We're like, oh, this guy, <laughs> we don't need to do any work here. Oh, it's this one. I... I didn't order anything. Oh, no, because you're picking out the package. <clears throat> yeah. I like this one, uh, because... I had to figure out what it was and uh, I'm very you know proud of myself for actually figuring it out it was a, a nice bit of detective work on my part if I do say so myself oh that's up there um it is oh so it's a constructed lang. these symbols are a constructed language used called linkos which was made for the purpose of having a language uh, which could be deciphered by uh, any extraterrestrial beings which might receive the signal without having requiring any prior or cultural knowledge uh, of being from Earth. Which uh, I guess is kind of a, you know, it makes sense but I, I think it's kind of unavoidable because you try and create something which is influenced in some way by the culture which you're brought up with. Anyway, uh, I can't remember the translation for what it is, but in general, this is a series of mathematical equations because it's assumed that if other beings exist in the universe in the same number of dimensions that we do, these mathematical concepts which we have will be consistent, right? So pi will always equal 3.14, whatever. Uh, and things like, you know, finding the length of a square by using Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, this is what this is. Uh, will be things which people if they're able to receive the message at least by our assuming will probably have figured out right um, so this is I think this is like finding the radius of a circle this is finding I think the diameter of a circle and this one's finding the area of a circle because it's filled in not too sure about that one. That one might be pi. I do remember this symbol here. You can't see it. Okay, so the first symbol in the row there, uh, next to this circle, uh, not the black one, but the one above it, uh, this is the equal sign. And the other symbols, each one of them represents a number. Um, as well as, I think, a... Uh, dot, you know, to represent point. Um, this down here, I forget what it is. 
this is a series of equations because I see it equals there. So it's like saying area equals, you know, A to the power of 2 plus B to the power of 2. I'm not good at math, but people, if you know, that was actually Pythagoras' theorem down there, but yeah, it, it's sort of like, it's saying like, you know, A equals B plus B squared plus C squared and so on and so it's it this is actually a thing people came up with um and beamed into space at some point there are websites if you uh which give you a uh <coughs> pardon me which give you a uh <coughs> yeah it's telling me i should stop yammering Uh, I've forgotten the word. It give you a key for the, what the symbols are. Oh, I didn't even, uh, I didn't even record it. There we go. So that was actually from Earth. That's how you spell it. I forget what Linkos stands for. Something. I'm quite tired, I'm going to go to bed. I feel like the symbols for that were easier to read in the older version. It looked blurrier there than it used than it did when I figured it out. I remember it being a lot clearer. Hmm. Oh well. Ah. Okay. How's the Transformers going? Meh. I'll, I'll, I'll go around them. Oh. I, I'm glad Control A for highlighting it all actually works there. Well, that's going. Uh, assume that one of them is down. Go fix it. Also, I need no I notepad. There we go. <clears throat> This is fine. Don't throw pine cones at me because I hit things. I guess we can have a look at the shed. That's shovel. Apparently that tree looks kind of weird when the uh, bad sun event occurs, but I think that's just because it wouldn't have a uh, 
a different appearance. It'd be a bug more than anything else. Yeah. There's really not much to do with this. It's funny. I guess more's planned. I've got that camera sitting there since the beginning. No spookums. I never found all of the, uh, the, uh, stone, uh, squares either. <coughs> Partly because it seemed like some of them have moved, so I have no idea where to look for them. I kind of had a look at the wiki, but, uh, I don't know if it's been updated. Ah. I've never found all of them myself anyway. There's something there. No. You see, I got something chasing me. It's relentless. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Looking for a pat in the head, and by golly, will I get it? Or it could be stuck in the base behind the uh, drive rack or something. Oh, my God. That's a quality break right there. <laughs> I might need to call uh, emergency services though for the uh, <laughs> for the whiplash. <laughs> the uh, sudden high amount of G's from instantly stopping. <laughs> Be like what the, uh, the the peeps experience on some rides from Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. But they're perfectly fine. They just complain about it, but they don't die from it. Oh, 360. My neck snapped 20 times. That was great. <laughs> the neck snapper 2000 looks too intense for me. I should probably play some Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. It's not a game which I've played too much of. It looks interesting. I find designing roller coasters to be something I'm not very good at. I I don't think I've got really... Oh, hey, Kerfus. You caught me. Well done. Um, 
I always hit like a creative block when it comes to roller coasters. Because I'll probably over engineer it, then I have to redo it, and the stats will be all wrong. And, uh. I want another camera over here. <laughs> I'm running a bit too far. Let me get the uh, bike and... Can't catch me! Uh oh uh oh Okay. Once again, saved by quality brakes. They're so good, they can break in midair. Break your bike, not to dig. <laughs> I think I've got more cameras. Do I have one looking at this uh, bridge? This is a bridge which gets the spookums hanging from it. It's actually still there. You can see it. The shadow there. Doesn't show up on a uh, camera though if you take a photo. Probably doesn't show up on a uh, security camera either. I thought that only appeared at certain times, but it seems like it's always there. I just had a thought. I haven't used the drone much because the, uh, whoa! Uh, <laughs> because the, uh, camera on it is not very good. I wonder if we can, uh, fix that. First up. Oh. Okay, so drone. Hey, Kerfus. Okay, so the camera on this is quite dark. I want to see something with the drone. Uh, are we over the river? Yes. Okay, if I do this. Okay, it can actually go in the water. 
I was wondering whether it would just like turn off if I put it into the water. But no, it looks like it can go underwater perfectly fine. Now, second thing. No, can I do this? Come on. Is that stuck to you? No. Okay, so I can't stick the camera onto the drone. I would have to nail it on, I guess. Eh. Also, it might be too heavy for it. I think I've got a hammer and nail. You just sit there. Uh. In here. Hammer, nail. Okay. Now I've got to see whether I can fly this contraption. Okay, can you go up? You can. You do descend constantly though, but you can fly around perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, this is improved drone cam uh oh uh, just call drone cam there we go now it's got better infrared In infrared and it's not as like dark okay because i wanted to go and check something The only problem is that I can't control it while I'm looking through the uh, improved camera. But the base camera is all right. The thing is, is that this base camera for the drone, uh, it is really difficult to see anything at night. The quality of it is just bad enough that, like, I really couldn't make out anything with it. So, uh, having the better camera stuck <laughs> nailed to the top of this, uh, drone ca this drone will, uh, help with things. Because I wanted to have a look inside of the lake. Because I've had a look in there myself, in person, but, uh, I drowned. There's not really a, uh, a, uh, oxygen meter, so this is an easier way of me doing that. I can spend more time with the drone under the gra underwater because I did see something down here yeah there Okay, so what is that? Zoom. That's another thing this can do. It can zoom. That is a rock. But that other thing. Turning is a bit weird. That is a mushroom. Okay. There was like... Something at the bottom here. Is that it? Looks like a rock. There was there, there was like a 
um, what would you call it? There's like a little block or something at the bottom here. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. That's a shadow cast by the uh, satellite dish. I thought there was something half buried underneath the uh, sand. Is that it? Ooh, that's another thing. My drone cam has got a tor has got a light on it. I mean, is that something? Just looks like a stick to me. Well, I can't really see anything under here. There was a light which just went across there, but that might have been from the uh, camera. That was a bit weird. Come on. I have to keep telling it to get back up into the air, because it... What's that? The pickaxe? Yeah, it's a pickaxe. And, uh... stick or something huh interesting well there's something under there where is that oh it's probably just the sun setting okay I am going out there. <laughs> I'm not taking the bike because I might need... I'll, I'll probably have to run back with the... Uh, with the drone. I could have put the drone straight up from where the uh, pickaxe was, so I knew exactly where it was, but if I got here and the drone went underwater, I didn't want to have to, like, fish it out from under. This way I can sort of just go, okay, it's like across from it. And the other good thing is that only the uh, camera turns off in that case. Uh, only the drone turns off in that case, not the camera. Ah. Phew. You drowned so quickly. Well, it is a pickaxe. Well, it was a pickaxe. What the heck? Damn it. 
It like swooped underground. Oh, hang on. Ah, good luck to me seeing it. I'm going to reload. That's why I reloaded just... No, that's why I saved just before going into the river. Haha, -ha, for thinking ahead. Okay, go in, grab the pickaxe, and then get out. Come on, Kel. Hold your breath. Ugh, I can hold my breath longer than that. I think Duke Nukem can hold his breath longer than that. And he can't hold his breath for long at all. Okay. So what is the thing which it was at? Let me save again. Now that I got this. But we got pickaxe. Hey! <gasps> it's a... Uh, like a fossilized stick. See, as the majestic Dr. Kill <laughs> gracefully <laughs> jumps out of the water. I didn't see anything else down there. The other things just looked like rocks. Okay, come with me. I like my little drone invention. I wonder what you can use this pickaxe for. Mining the rocks? Maybe it's just there to be a pickaxe. I vaguely remember reading something about the pickaxe, but I can't remember what. Like, I, you might use it for something. you where have I got a power plug plug there's no plugs in here okay in the break room Yeah, there's one. Okay. There we go. Uh, oh, Kerpus is in the, um... Thingy. So what's it say about this? It's in the, uh, garage. Wait. Okay, it says nothing. It's just a pickaxe. Fair enough. Hey, Kerpus, look what I found. Got a rock around here.
Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Wonder if it's used for anything then. Interesting find, anyway. Uh, oh, right, the PC turned off because I uh, reloaded. Oh, it's done. It. Okay, so this camera was uh, it's like northeast echo. Power line. This one is That was like up on the ridge, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, there. So it's like ridge north of of C. I forget what C is stands for. Charlie? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Now let me save again, so I don't have to do all that. I'm not too concerned about getting new signals because I've got a lot to get through anyway. But I guess, you know, if we find one which looks interesting in the uh, detector, then sure, we can fast track it. We're processing it. Getting charged there? Good. What was this one? Okay, Right after one another. Very nice. You know, a red giant.
Hmm. Oh, hello. Are you moving? Here you are. So, probably a tree. I just have terrible difficulty trying to figure out which way I'm looking. Right, so that is on the ridge. Uh, where's my image? Yeah, okay, that's like... Right at... C. Like... Damn it! behind it. I think that's C. B, C, D. Yeah, D's at the corner where the river is. Like something around there. Ah, it's probably gone now. No, it's still there. It's moving again. There. I see you. This tree. Okay. 
Oh, well, the tree's gone. And the other one's gone off the map as well. Hmm. Oh, that's not where my drone is. Are you fully charged now? Can't actually tell. Yeah, hello. I will put you... Oh, okay, you always want to return back to the way you're facing. Put you there. Get out of here. I thought there was another one over there, but I'm quite tired. I'm going to go to bed. Thunderstormy. Probably the drone. What the heck was that? <laughs> it dropped down to 49 things for a while there. For, for a, thing, a single thing there. I think that was just... It, it jumped over a whole bunch of them. Hey, Kerpus, uh, you don't mind the rain, do you? Thank you. That's the drone. I forgot what I was looking for. It was something. I was going to check the camera where the uh, anti-breather is, but yeah, we've seen that a few times. Wonder if there's anything over in the uh, forbidden forest. that camera oh it's gone off again okay hey purple light and green light okay interesting no what I've watched that purple light from a distance. Across the river, uh, across the lake. The uh, non-moving body of water, but uh, or non-blowing body of water, but I've never gone up to it and actually shook its hand. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It was a dark and stormy night. Which was preceded by the most cliche and um, open story opening there ever was. A 
Is it cliche? I don't think I've ever read a book which opens up that way. <laughs> Aside from the one Snoopy was always trying to write. Okay, I'm here. Hi, purple light. You're not here? Did you turn my camera off? No, that camera's on. It was just over there. You know, I wish I had a wristwatch. There's no green fire over there either. At least from what I could see. Though they did turn my camera off in there. I think it was lined up with this. Yeah, so the fire would be just over there. I can't see it. Hmm. It kind of looked like the fire was stuck behind a fence. See, I've seen it over here before, and I've seen it near the river, uh, near the lake. Which is where I observed the purple circle before. Purple orb before. And it was like moving around this whole area. But I've seen it over here uh, before as well. But it was sort of just moving alongside the fence. Like up and down over here. Which is similar to how the... Um, Similar to how one of the zombie deer spawns was working. That it was just moving up and down the fence line. And I have to wonder whether one of their spawns is that they spawned outside of the uh, outside of the fence, but they can't actually get through it. So they just sort of hang around trying to get through the fence and then they eventually just disappear. So they're not really doing what they're supposed to be. It could be a bug. I'm pretty sure the zombie deer one, which I saw, one of the zombie deers was a bug. Uh, the one uh, down near Whiskey, along the fence line. In between Whiskey and uh, X-Ray. But the purple orb, it kind of strikes me as a bug too, if it's behind a fence. Also, Kerfus hasn't run up and get run up to me. Taking him a while to do it? Is he stuck? Did he get discombobulated? Did he decide I'm not going out in that rain? Only crazy people go out in that rain.
Looks like he's stuck on something. Hello. Shovel them in there. in there. Done this so many times. It's... Oh, the rain's clearing up. I was going to get to the top of the tower before it's uh, while it was raining. Funky looking. It's probably extremely dark in the capture, sorry. The clouds look funny just after the rain. They have like a light to them, which they don't normally. Hey, 2004 points. Very good. You do a good job, Dr. K. Oh, did I save that? Okay. What? Oh, you. There we go. 
What are you? Hmm, muttering. You got that entry. It's different from this one. <laughs> uh, zero zero thirty nine. Service broke. No. Sleep time. Probably should have just sent off all of my process drives, but yeah, whatever. Whatever the heck Dr. Kell is getting up to in there, it sounds like a real part. Visiting? No. This actually looks like the same thing which was in the water. Oh, it's just like a wooden log. Though I haven't seen any logs like that anywhere else. I mean, aside from the one in the water, right? Enough out of you. Let's play some stalker music. Uh. You're done.
Okay, that's the city hum one again. Uh, zero fifty one twenty one. <laughs> what stickers are on the top? I don't know. That looks like another mushroom for the uh, vine source crew, though it's like red. I haven't checked, um, that, that's the one for, um... Uh... Is it mental gen? Let me have a look, just a moment. Yeah, maybe. But I don't think they've done any streaming for quite a for, uh few years. At least not from the brief lift I did. They might. Maybe they do it under a different name now. Unless it's another one like Ima Cooney. I mean, yeah. Um, whatever. <sighs> uh, oh, you're done. Okay. Thank you, please give me that. That'll be War Planet Whistle Blast one twenty three. Invalid object. Why do I keep getting that? I've updated this thing as much as I can, and it's just. Uh, hey, Kerfus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for sorting that out. Yeah. Oh, I guess I did knock one off the table. Okay. 
Gonna dig a hole. Why are you going up around here? What? Well, yeah, okay, I kind of figured that, but... Oh no! The meat locker! It's all spooky and ghost-like! I mean, you don't have a... Oh, shiver, shiver. You don't have a friggin' locker of meat which has been there for whoever knows how long and to have, not have it altered. It's a pork futures warehouse. That would count as being a ghost, wouldn't it? <laughs> because they haven't materialized into reality yet. Because it's put potential pork futures. Um, uh, Discord reference. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. A case of where the patrician being the way he is, if people use a metaphor, uh, it has to have some basis of reality. So if people talk about pork futures, he made it so that there has to be pork futures. So people started building warehouses for pork, which doesn't exist yet. It turns out that uh, accumulated potential pork <laughs> lowers the uh, surrounding temperature by quite a lot. Possibly due to ectoplasm in nature. I never actually thought about why. But that would actually make sense seeing as how in the ghost movies uh, you know, ghost presence tends to lower the uh, tends to lower the environmental uh, temperature. I mean, look at the uh, Phasmophobia. I never actually played Phasmophobia. I just watched other people play it. I do own it. I played it for like 40 minutes. About like 15 of which was me standing outside out of outside of a house and uh, not going in. So I did a very thorough job. Because the type of spook, which I don't really like. You know, things creep, things sort of running at you and screaming at you and all that and so on. It's more active horror, whereas, uh, where is this? Oh, Duh. it's not there because I just got it. What's this one? One fifty one.
It's raining again. It just ma at least it matches the music. I wonder if there's any other areas around the base which are considered spooky. What about in here? No. I guess that's just from the door. That's from the skull. Nothing down here. It's not haunted. Get up here. Mmm. M's. Ah. Oh. Garage door is not solid. Rumbles. I'm gonna have to think of uh, what I'm gonna do with the cameras when the next update comes out, because I'm gonna have to do it all over again. A lot of the places where I've got them have been pretty useful. And I'll still put ones in locations even where things hasn't happened, like the shed or Stonehenge. 
because I guess there's a potential that something could be added in those areas. I mean, I, I know, like, there's stuff you could do at Stonehenge, but, uh, like, I haven't seen anything pop up there. I've had a deer wander around that location, but, uh, they sort of just wander around that area normally. It's not anything out of the ordinary. Come on, they're just, they're just ghostly deer. Um, but I might try and focus on putting the cameras more on the satellite dishes. So I have got one on each ca satellite dish. Except for, uh, uniform and maybe, uh, F. Because those ones, well, uniform caused problems with the, uh, radar ping. It would keep appearing and disappearing. This might actually be the last recording I do of this until another update. So I feel like I've gotten... Well, I know I haven't gotten all the signals. But that's sort of just down to random chance of getting them. And that could take a while. Um, I've seen quite a few events. Again, not all of the ones which I which I I haven't had all the ones which I've seen before and this I certainly haven't like exhaustively explored ones which have occurred that purple light eluded me so I, I don't know if there's anything which happens with that Probably just kills you if you get close to it. They tend to do that. Lights flying around. I did have all the yellow walls pop up really early on. Then they just disappeared on their own. After a few nights. I thought maybe they'd have shown up again by now, but... Maybe they only happened once. What in there? Hmm. I don't think I'll be carrying anything over from one game to another. Um, I mean. I don't have to start completely fresh again. Uh, that depends on what uh, Mr. Dr. No says when in the up it w um, if when the next update comes out because I think a lot of the uh, you used to have to restart every time but I think a lot of the uh, information is now like stored in such a way that you don't have to restart your game every time. Uh, south of base. What's that? It's like Juliet one? You certainly do with a better camera over in that direction. So where is that? It's like... That's southeast of... Is that southeast, Juliet? Yes, it is. So it's like... 
Beyond Juliet. Like over there. Yeah, that is Juliet because it's next to the river. Hmm. What's the location? Minus forty eight, one twenty eight. Okay. That doesn't make sense. No, no, hold on. Okay. It was one twenty eight. And then forty eight. That wasn't near Juliet, that was a lot closer to the base. Uh, 48. 128. It was like here. One of you lads? wasn't you. Stop trying to steal the limelight. Okay, so that's actually... Oh! Right, okay. That wasn't Juliet, that was, uh... Yeah, the camera on the pole there. So Southeast Juliet must be Well that's that. Still there. Minus fifty one, one nineteen. It's just a tree.
You, I guess. Well, yeah, one of you. <clears throat> Drug. Uh, still out there moving around pretty actively moving around actually minus 87 130 oh it's gone now Quite you. I'm just going to take a quick break, just a moment. Okay, we're back. Uh, says I've only been recording for an hour. I'm pretty sure it's two hours. You, OBS is lying to me. I don't appreciate it. Oh, pardon me. It might only go for another half hour unless something incredible happens. Shush. Thank you. Also, I'm sorry, but the real world's calling to me. Don't worry. Probably do some uh, recordings of that at some point. Probably stream it. I don't think I have streamed the game before. No, I I think I, I did. When I first started playing it, I did. I did stream a few uh, settlements of it. Uh, but then I sort of did a lot of, um, like, smaller personal ones. Just... Messing around with mods. This will be modded again. I'm just sort of... Uh, playing around to get up to a point where we can get to the good stuff as it is. Get over the early hump and also uh, so I can see how the mods work and see that they're all working nicely together. windworld has got a lot of mods but I get rather confused as to which ones are compatible with each other. Because the game throws up a lot of errors. And I don't understand them. So I just ignore them. Okay. 
Uh, two ten. Okay, what were you beeping about? Uh, okay. You see, the other person I was watching, uh... What are they called? Sammy Fox, I think? On YouTube. Um, they had a camera right up next to the cave. Watching that. And, uh, it got turned off. I haven't got any camera right next to the cave. I've got one near Romeo. Oh, hello. You're right there. That's near golf. Golf cat. Damn it. Why do you do that? Why is it sometimes when I look at the radar, it defaults to two instead of one? I don't know which way this one's facing. Should be facing towards the south. Yeah. Okay, well... Oh, it's beyond golf. Uh... Generator cam? You nearly did it again. It's like over here. Part of the uh, drinking, the uh, the tea is what keeps things going. Where was... No, not Hinge. Portal, bunker, out of bounds, southeast transformer. Again, I don't know which way that's looking. Ow. Oh. Never mind, it's not there anymore. I guess it was a tree. Those dastardly trees. Always planning something, plotting my demise. Ugh, I hate those trees. Oh, no, no. So tall and leapy. Hmm. Antibrief is going for a wonder again. That looks interesting. Uh...
Hold on a moment. Um, let me put my T over there. Right, okay. How are you doing? I think this counts as something rather interesting. I haven't seen this one before. Oh, I'm searching. Let's help him along the way. Hey, I'm over here, buddy. <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> I'm giving you the bird. <laughs> as big and as hard as I can. I'm giving him the, them the bird as hard as I can. I can't, I can't do a, the, uh, oh, uh, what's he called? The Moon Knight from, uh, Akatine Hunger Force. Oh, it's that one. Hey, buddy. First one who blinks, loses. Wait, well, you looked away. I win. <laughs> Uh, 2.44. What's it going to do? Be another thing which is going to devour the world? Boy, have I had that happen. In an alternate reality. Going to get a message. It's going to be like, delete this. Okay, let's see. Sure, we'll fast track you. Tell me your secrets, oh flaming eye in the sky. I'll turn you off so I can hear things. Rather than spooky uh, industrial clanging. <laughs> Yeah. What's something down there briefly? Probably a deer. There's the anti-breather. It's kind of sitting there. Oh no, there it goes. Oh yeah, the fishing, fishing lures. I don't have a fishing rod. There's apparently a way to make it, but I didn't. I haven't read on how to do that. Because I kind of want to find out on myself, which means I don't know how, so I just will, I will never know. Hmm, there's a thingy over there. That's near X-ray. Hmm. Uh, I think the closest camera I've got down there is Quebec, isn't it? And that one, from what I remember, is not very good. Get the north cam can't see it because there's a ridge in the way. Out of bounds. Huh. 
There's a little purple light moving around down there. Right near X-ray. What is that? Now, is that a purple light like I saw over the other side of the base, or is that a different one? It kind of looks like it's flickering in and out of existence. Can't find my location. Okay. Let me climb the tower and get spooked by stuff at the top of it. I'm just saying stop. I don't know whether or not something will happen. <laughs> something has happened when I've climbed up here before. Yeah, there's a purple light. I just saw it. Okay, so that is a purple orb. All the way over there, huh? Green light is there. Maybe the purple orbs appear when the green light's there. I don't know if I've seen one over that side, though. You know, for mystical, magical forest beings or whatever, which have uh, untold, untold spooky powers, they're not very good at finding, but finding where I am. Or they are, they just, I don't know, wander all over the place. I heard that. Bip, bip, bip. That was probably the uh, thingy disappearing, though. Okay, so yeah, there's a deer down there. Flicker, flicker. I reset those. Right. Celebrate good times, and let's listen to a spooky message from our sponsor. Sounds much the same. Things seem to have changed, okay. I'll be with you in a moment. No message either. Just, just, just deny. Something over there now. That's new. That's on the ridge. I could possibly see that. 
ridge cam. Or not. No. Oh, hang on. That's not Ridge Cam, is it? No, th that is Ridge Cam. Because this one's the one on the transformer looking over the valley. That's the Valley Cam. Coming down the hill. Okay, I wouldn't be able to see it now. Uh, MCAM? Oh man, what's MCAM? Uh, Can't think. <laughs> oh, it's gone back up on the ridge. There's a number of things out there. Fine, I'll just use the towers. Uh, yeah, tower west. So up on the ridge. Let me see. Uh, ridge cam. I'm going to put that light on. Okay, so that's where it is. So it's like over here. Uh, there's something there? It's like what might be a very pale red patch of light there. But then, you know, there's general discoloration to the image, which could be that as well. Uh, 249. Oh, it's gone now. Seven.
Yeah, whatever. Finger, please. Behave yourself. Yes, we have to get this on. A hundred. Otherwise, Christmas is ruined. <laughs> It's like I get too nervous and then my fingers just start twitching too much. And... Warble, warble. Hello again. <laughs> you can keep asking. Fifty-three. I should call it Rakum. What was it? Two fifty-three. Yeah, you could just see the shape of it in the uh, static. Something flickering on the wall over there. Oh, it was just it was just this, I think. Yeah, I think it was just the uh, text box. Okay, what are you? Nothing. time Oh 
Nope, raining again. As the sun comes up. Also, it'll be nice if I don't have to restart when a new update comes out because uh, I won't I won't have to uh, clean up the base all over again. Just need to clean up all my cans and pizza boxes. Though they give the place a bit of a disgusting lived-in look, I guess. I wouldn't tolerate them being all over the place in real life, but uh... <laughs> Ah, delicious pizza. Eighteen. Your planet. Now, yeah. Pluto. I'll tell you what what is funny is that since the last update uh, because the uh, base has changed the mannequins can't get inside here so I've never had one pop up behind me they've always gotten stuck on the stairs leading into the base they just can't get over it which is odd thinking because you'd think they wouldn't have a problem because they just sort of teleport around maybe they actually like they don't animate move I guess they slide around when you're not looking They do. Yeah. Anyway. Can't find broken servers. Oh, I thought I told you to stay put. Oh yeah, did I do the daily task? No, I didn't. Because the uh, thing you needed resetting. Why have I got a lot for you again? Five will be enough. Get in. You're moving. You're right next to where the, uh... Well, not right next to it, but you're near the shed. It's like over here.
Still there? Yeah. Can't see you. You're in a blind spot. What? Oh. No, wait. Okay, it disappeared. But then it went up again. Ah. It's just dipping when I move the camera quickly. When I move my mouse quickly. No, that didn't cause a blip. Sorry. Oh, I could have sent my drone cam out. You know, I forgot that I had that. <laughs> uh. Anything there? No. That was just this. Oh, that display is like a big CRT. Huh. Caution, flammable. Electrical hazard. Yeah, we've got a phone on this thing. We can't use it. Help! I'm being accosted by dots! I think we've had that one before. Hey, Kerfus. Thank you. 
Acid away. Over here. Stop. Oh, that sounds interesting. Oh, yeah. It just jumped. because of the frame rate dip. Eh. Oh, hello. There was something right outside the base. I saw that. There was a blip just over there very briefly I didn't see anything hmm. but for a brief moment there was like a red dot like just here I wonder if it if like you might be able to see it in the footage just as I you know move over to like went here but I don't think so so I think it would have, it would have been over there not over here hmm. right on Thank you. What do this one? Okay. I think that one's a new one. Blog. Uh, 346. One more. We'll do the heavily staticky one, and then I think I'll call it for tonight. And then probably in, uh, for until the, uh, next update comes out. Because I think this this new update did change things around, mostly in the story mode, as well as the new base, which is really neat. I, I, I forget that this is all new, but yeah, I like the new base. It's got a uh, nice layout to it, and uh, quite a few rooms which you can uh, do things with. You have to move around it a lot. Now it's just sort of it seems you know having things happen when you're doing this, doing that. Occasionally, you know, not all the time. Or maybe not. Maybe don't have things happen. Because I, I do like the building of the atmosphere in this game. That's another reason why I don't play in the story mode. I think things happen in the story mode a bit too often. And I think the timer, the, 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 the number of days it takes before things start happening has been lowered in the last update, so things start happening sooner. 
which I know that's why I like infinite mode because it means there is long periods where nothing really happens um and I I'm probably still missing out on some things on on a number of things but like having watched a number of stuff over the last what 70 in-game days or so I think it's more there's not really anything to do with them at the moment there is the corridor though and you know I have been deliberately avoiding doing some things because I know what happens because I want to like stumble across new things rather than just show off stuff which I've seen in other people's uh, plays plays of this hmm <sighs> this room's odd, it doesn't really have anything going on for it. It's a lot... I swear, it was darker in here last time I went in here. Maybe it was because it was night time? No. Mate, you're gonna get right in one way or another. Now get out of the wall. I give you the potential to stand in your own four legs, and this is how you repay me. Get out of the can't be phasing through reality like that. It, it's just... It's not done. Uh, if I hear you clanging around at night... Was there something on the wall back here? Yeah, there was. There's a shark. I heard that beep beep beep. Is it my possessed shelf? Oh no. Uh, that is... Uh, it's like directly south of... South India, yeah. South is this way. Where? Okay, it's so over to the east now, over there. Because I can see the uh, next satellite along hotel over there, so it's like here.
149. Wasn't it? Yeah, 249. Uh, why have not have that down here? Whatever. Oh, oh, there. <laughs> I forgot it was one I did recently because I wanted to get it done quickly. And it's not there anymore. Last one. I don't think I saw anything outside of this window when I was, uh, uh the many times I was staring out of it. I mean, no, I did see, like, the zombie deer run up and through the front door because <laughs> they come out of the forest and then along here and up there um then of course the mannequins there um the light forest spirit wendigo thing that always showed up more around that corner of the base I think once over here but Pretty much always in uh, that corner, that corner, southwest corner. Never over here, I don't think. The uh, vehicles showed up over there. No, it's just a red giant hum one. Okay, uh, one pin. Okay, here we go. Yeah, what? Mannequin. He's stumbling around at all my rocks. Hang on. That sounded like it came from within the base! Where are you? Sorry. <laughs> Downstairs? Right, those are the legs of this thing. No. It, it, it could have been just this bumping around. Oh. 
So like, yeah, the forest demon thing showed up over there. But most of the time it showed up over this side. Like around here. A as far as I noticed. I did find piles of bones in other locations. Sometimes it just seemed like those just appeared. Like I had some up here at one time. I never saw a uh, light over there though. So where was that? I wonder if the shed sets this off. The green fire location doesn't. Or I, I believe the one time I checked. I mean, if the deer skull sets it off, then you'd think the shed would. Uh, where is it? Over here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I thought so. spooky <gasps> the stick haunted stick what about the well the well is well we know the mannequin stands aren't haunted they're just silly doofuses they're not ghosts The well's over here. There's weird step noises because I'm jumping at the same time as moving, so it's like doubling the sound of my footsteps. When I go uphill. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I, I dug that up, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Well's haunted as well, but I never saw anything happen with it. I've gone down there before. There's just a bunch of bones. I won't go down there because I don't have my uh, grapple. those wasps I dug up still here. Ow! Damn it! That was the wrong button. Really? This thing?
I'm okay. Is there something buried here? I never considered this a location which was of any import. There are unique bushes here. But there was never like, as far as I could tell, anything going on around here. I do have my metal detector. I think I checked around here, though. Yeah. Nothing. Dig it! Turn the light off. I can't get it up to five. Not even when I go inside of it. seem to be anything underneath it. Huh. Okay, well, that's uh, something to keep an eye out on, I guess. Log cam. That side? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's good enough. I mean, it's right next to there, and I have a camera on there as well anyway, so... Yeah. Okay, log. Maybe the logs generally do that, because there is another log like that somewhere else. I haven't checked that with the EM... EMF reader? Really early on, I got that note in the forest here which said, if you hear any music, run. I never hung around in the uh, foresty area at night. But I uh, never, never saw any music or any, really, any, any activity occur up there. There were no blips on the radar. Usually my reasoning is, if there's a blip, oh, there's something going on over there, I should go check it out. There could be things happening in locations without blips. But, uh... Like, I've got cameras in quite a lot of locations and I haven't seen anything. Things could show up... ...which don't show up on the cameras. That is a possibility. Usually there would be a light there, though, even if there's nothing else happening there. Yeah. Let's have a look at that. Uh, this one. So this is... Papa Log Cam. Because that's Papa there. Okay. Did I turn off one of my other cameras again? River, river and forest. I don't think so.
That light there is from the, from the uh, camera I have out there. <laughs> and that's because the sun's just gone down. I am immensely thankful that these cameras don't run out of battery power. I think if they did, they would be too much hassle. Because what, you'd have to go out and put new batteries in them? You have them running constantly. You can't turn them on and off here. That would be an idea. If you could tick them, turn them off. If they did take power to run, you'd need to have the option to turn them off the computer, I think. Um, that way you could turn them off to conserve power, turn them on, see if something's happening, turn it off again. Um, that could also help with the number of blips I have on the radar because of them. Oh, that's the block. But, like, even then... If they had power, I wouldn't be able to have as many cameras as I do, because I'd be constantly running around charging them up again. Like, either replacing the batteries in them, or having to plug them in at the base. And, frankly, that's more effort than I'd be willing to put in. Yeah, okay. We'll save it there. And, uh, I think this will be the last session of Voices of the Void until the next uh, update comes out, whenever that is. I don't think uh, Mr. Dr. Noise has even thought about the next update. <laughs> Take your time. No, no rush. It is just a small team working on this. So, yeah. Well, anyway, well, thank you very much for joining, and I hope you join me again next time for whatever I do. Until then, though, farewell. Goodbye.